When I started to think about who my heroine was going to be for the novels, all I really knew was that I wanted someone very decent. That was my starting point. I think I really felt that I wanted someone in the book that a reader could feel that she, or he possibly, but that she could believe that she was Louisa, that she would respond in the same way. I think most of us are fundamentally decent people and it's quite nice to read about those characters. So she had to be good. At the same time, the stakes had to be pretty high for her. Uh, and I was very intrigued by these women of that period, but from any class, um, because they were all brought up to believe that life was going to be like their mothers, like their grandmothers, like their great-grandmothers. So if you were upper class, you were brought up to believe that you were going to get married, and that would really be your career, so to speak, and you were as successful as your husband was successful. And if you were working class, you would probably do the same jobs that your mother had done or your grandmother. You would be brought up you know, in the industry of being a washerwoman or a maid or you know, in a factory or whatever it was. And, but the war changed that for all those young women. First of all, there weren't so many men around um, in Britain. There were um, almost two million more women than men after the First World War, so, and then a great more many men who came back injured. So to st statistically, these women weren't going to have the lives that their mothers and their grandmothers had had. And also there was the technology brought about huge new opportunities, um, which simply hadn't been there for before for them. So I wanted Louisa to be someone who is wanting to both escape the life that her mother had had and be drawn towards what is new and, and there, but she's also of her class, she's working class, she hasn't been brought up with an expectation of anything kind of tremendously different happening to her. So through the Mitfords she starts to glimpse a window of what life could be like. Um, and so that, that for me was my starting point, you know, but ma mainly I had to like her because I'm planning to be with her for quite a few books, you know, so I thought, that, so that's why she needed to be somebody that you would get on with, you know, so I'd, if I could I'd have a cup of coffee with Louisa. <laughs>